begin with continuing coverage. It is on the Erie County Executive's request to restructure the county's Diversity, Equity and Inclusion Commission. County Executive Bretton Davis is calling on the commission to freeze all spending, to purge all spending and to remove a board member claiming that some board members use taxpayer money to fund their own nonprofits. Erie News Now, Jamison Hixenbaugh found out today another board member, Jamison, has been removed from the commission. What's the latest tonight? Well, Eva Davis says it's a matter of public perception of de self dealing within the organization. While Diverse Erie says the board members did everything by the book. Erie County has a long history of these types of occurrences, and today it stops. Erie County Executive Brenton Davis announcing his decision to remove Gerald Blanks from the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion Commission's Board of Directors. Simply because we can does not mean that we must or that we should. Davis claims Blanks violated the county's conflict of interest policy when his organization, the Greater Erie Economic Development Corporation, received a $250,000 grant from the commission's first round of generational impact grants. To me, I'm unapologetic about that. At the end of the day, I will not stand for improprieties, even the perception of impropriety and self-dealing when it comes to taxpayer money. On Friday, County Council appointed Commissioner Matt Harris was also removed from the DEI Board of Directors. His organization, the Eastside Renaissance, also received a $250,000 grant. What he is doing is flat out wrong. Davis's request is not sitting well with Eastside Renaissance founder Bishop Dwayne Brock. We have come a long way in building bridges and solving um, race relations within our communities. This seemingly narcissistic man seems to be destroying those bridges as we very speak. By abstaining from the grant vote, Brock says both Blanks and Harris did nothing wrong. We have a fiduciary board with presidents of banks serving to oversee that which we do. So Britton Davis is, is totally out of line, he's out of control, and somebody needs to shut him down. Davis is also asking the commission to freeze all spending, but according to Diverse Erie CEO Gary Lee, the board has followed all protocols. Not only did they not vote on any of the applications, they were not a part of the process completely. Moving forward, Davis says, Let this be a warning to any other individual that's out there on a board authority and commission. If you're going to play like this with taxpayer money, we're going to find it, we're going to root it out, we're going to expose it, and we're going to eliminate you. Definitely some strong words from both sides. And as of tonight, it is unclear exactly who will replace Blanks and Harris. For the Economic Hardship Reporting Project, Jamison Hixenbaugh, Theory News Now.